Do you have something like this? The lens is right under my crotch. If you have short legs like me, it's gonna make your torso look longer than your legs. What a catastrophe! Hello there, my beautiful darling. I am 5'2". After all these years of trial and error, I finally figured out what are the most important things to make blazer look good on someone who's short like us. First and foremost, the one thing that can make it or break it, how long is your blazer? If you do have blazer this length, do not throw them out yet. I will talk about how to make it work in the second part of this video. If you want your life to be easier, just get a shorter lens blazer like this one. This blazer is hip length. This is not cropped. Some of you mentioned to me you can't wear anything cropped. This is one to two inches above the crotch. So if you have midriff concern, if you want to make sure your hips are covered, you are good. The beauty of this lens, it works very well with a dress. The blazer is dividing the dress into three on top and two at the bottom. The three to two is a derivation of the golden mean ratio. If you watch my channel a lot, I always talk about the rule of thirds. That is another derivation of the golden mean ratio. These are the most pleasant ratio to the eye. If all this is new to you, make sure you watch this video. It's gonna change your life. That is why the length of your blazer is so critical. It actually applies to everything you wear, not just blazers. A lot of times, if you look at yourself in the mirror, something looks a little off. Probably you can find the answer in the proportion. A well-fitted black blazer is a staple for the office. Pair it with any of your pencil skirt. This is a classic combination, and this can pass for the dress code of any work environment. To make this more interesting, add a scarf. Scarf is a wonderful option, especially in the transitioning weather. I used to think they're very hard. I know like two ways to tie a scarf. If you're like that, don't worry, I got you covered. I just did a new video on 12 new ways you can tie your scarf. So make sure you watch this video as well. If you think a black blazer is only for the workplace, you are really missing out. Here's the fun part. A black blazer can dress up any of your casual outfits. The most basic white t-shirt, mom jeans. Once you throw on black blazer, now you look polished. I'm also pairing it with my pointy toe meals from Steve Madden, one of my favorite shoes. This is still a very comfortable and casual outfit, but now you look chic and modern. If you want to take it up a notch, change your mom jeans to dark wash denim or black jeans. This is dressier. And switch white t-shirt to camisole. This is a more feminine combination. Now, put on your black blazer and pair with strappy sandals. Here you go. Now you are ready for any dressy occasion. Girls night out or a day night. All right, my darling. If after all I've said today, you still decided you like longer blazers because you want more coverage or if you already have long blazers, I did not forget about you. You gotta remember though, the longer your blazer, the more likely they can make your legs look shorter. If you don't want that to happen, do it like this. Wear it with a short skirt. This is a tweed A-line skirt I got from Express. It's a couple of inches above my knee. When I wear a long blazer with this, because my top is totally covered, including my arms covered by the blazer, now the eye is only going to be focused on my legs. The eye is going to forget about how long the blazer is. It's only going to notice your long legs. This is my favorite way to style a long blazer if you are petite like me. It's critical if you wear a long blazer, do not close the buttons in the front. When you close the buttons, the eye is going to assume your legs start with the hemline of the blazer. Because the blazer is so long, this is going to make your legs look very short. So it could look like a disaster on someone who already have short legs like me. Instead, when you open the blazer, wear high waisted bottom underneath. Now the eye is going to be focused on the outfit under your blazer and forget about how long your blazer is. 
because the high waisted pants is higher than my natural waistline. This can elongate my legs. If you are petite like me, or if you have short legs, if you want to maximize your leg length, get a crop length blazer. I have an entire collection of crop length everything, not just blazers. Because I am 5'2", and I also have a longer torso relative to my height. So I have found the crop length is the best length to shorten my torso and elongate my legs. This lens works with every bottom in my closet. Even with a very challenging midi skirt like this, it doesn't work with any longer blazer, but when I wear a crop lens blazer, this is gonna divide your body into one third on top and two thirds at the bottom. Besides the length of the blazer, another big challenge when we're looking for blazers is the sleeves. This is something I've struggled for years and to this day, I have not found a perfect solution. Here's the thing, even if you get your blazer from the petite department, they are made according to the measurements of petite models. And guess how tall they are? Majority of them are 5'3 or even 5'4. Most of us, if you are not 5'3 or 5'4, like I'm 5'2 and a lot of us are under 5 foot, we are gonna have problems with the sleeve length even if they're petite sized. One solution is to go for three quarter sleeves. They don't come around that often, especially not in formal dressy blazers, but you can find some of them. This is a three quarter sleeve, but on me, it looks like perfect length. It doesn't look like they're short on my arms at all. Besides, when you wear three quarter sleeves, this is actually the most flattering sleeve length for petite women. Because when you're showing a little bit of your arms, the eye is also gonna think your legs look longer. Don't ask me why. I cannot give you a scientific explanation, but I just know it works. If you have never tried three quarter sleeves, try it today. You will see a big difference. Another workaround it is to roll it up. Like this blazer from Gap, this is a petite size, but the sleeve is too long for me. So when I rolled it up, the other side of the sleeves actually has a different color. This now can add a different casual vibe to the outfit. This is a pretty fun way to wear your blazer and give it a new different look. Another obvious option to fix your sleeve problem, take it to a tailor. I have gotten a lot of my coats and jackets tailored because the sleeves were too long. However, if your jackets or blazers have details at the sleeves, such as buttons, most of my work jackets do, it's gonna be a lot more complicated for the tailor, so it is gonna cost you a lot more. In that case, you just have to make decision. Is the blazer an investment piece? Are you gonna wear it to very important client meetings, interviews, presentations? If you do want to get the most wear out of it, and if you can find a tailor that fits your budget, I suggest you do it. If you're petite, single-breasted is much easier and more flattering than double-breasted blazers. The reason is because double-breasted blazers, actually double-breasted anything, they can expand you horizontally, which is not a good news if you are already short. You want to look taller and leaner and longer, not wider. And especially if the blazer is long and double-breasted, it's very hard to make them look flattering on someone who is short. Besides, double-breasted blazers also tend to be more restrictive in the chest area. If you have full bust, if you're a curvy girl, if you have a narrow glass body shape, when you wear double-breasted anything, you might feel like there's not enough wiggle room in the chest or in the arm area. So you're much better off with single-breasted blazers. If you're petite like me, blazer is just one of the challenges we face. Another big one, jeans. I don't remember how many times I walked into a store and left empty-handed because everything was just too long. Here's the one big question. What is the best length for jeans if you are petite? It may sound like an easy question, but it's not. It really depends on what type of jeans you are wearing and what is your body shape. Watch this video. 
the best jeans length if you have short legs.